2005 F-250 with the 6.0 diesel and we have a no start issue and looking at 287,000 miles We want to do system selection, PCM. Then we want to read data stream. Okay, so what we're looking for is we do want to do we want to look for some pressure. And we want to see injector control pressure regulator percentage and injector control pressure in the PSI and also with that we want to look for the FICM main power and also the synchronization so we look at these four things the FICM main power should be above 45 preferably 48 and we are sitting at 49 of course you want to uh, of course you want to look at this value while cranking injector control pressure you want to see anything above 15 and below 85 percent injector control pressure needs to be at least 500 psi and of course we need the cam and crank sink so let's give her a start see what we got going on check the control pressure is all the way closed which means it ain't getting enough pressure so it's trying to dump all of the pressure through the rail Let's see if we get sink and what kind of pressure we got. And that looks like our problem. Not enough injector control pressure. Okay, so I got the pressure regulator removed. And my little air test adapter put in when you pull out the uh, when you pull out these regulators you want to look at the condition of that screen if it's busted you need to either need to replace the screen or the regulator so now we will give her a little bit of air And I hope that's coming up, but you see the smoke. So that is confirmed that we do have an O-ring leak. I just got to figure out which side. And I want to say it's right here on the driver's side. Uh, let me get some light. All right. So basically, we've covered that hole. And you can hear. That that's where the pressure is so I guess we'll start off with the driver's side valve cover and continue on all right so 
try to introduce the air. All right, so we're gonna introduce the air. See where the air, see where it's leaking at. Kind of inconclusive. Yeah, air is definitely leaking. Evidenced by the smoke. So um, it, I'm expecting injector O-rings. Well, let's get the rail off. So I got the oil rail off, and I'm looking at the condition of the O-rings and the injectors. And they all look good, except for this one. It's got a little bit of crud right there. Try to see what that is. Let's see what that crud is. Well, it's not part of an O-ring. It looks like cloth. Or lint. Hmm, could be nothing. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the driver's side down tube. And these O-rings all look good. So let me get out the passenger side. So now we're on to the passenger side, down tube. And these top O-rings look good. And I think I've found our problem. That O-ring looks pretty tore up. That would definitely cause a leak. A little added information. Um, these down tubes come in two types. This one is the earlier version. And this one is a revised version. You can tell the difference between the two 
one the new version has this white fiber washer in between the o-ring whereas the old style does not and also you can tell by the size of the allen wrench that that you need to get them out the old style is a 10 millimeter and the new style is a 12 millimeter still going to replace that one this truck had a new style in on the driver's side and still had the old style so in my opinion half the job got done so we're going to put all new down tubes in this one and for those that want to know there is your part number this part number is for a kit that will actually give you two new uh, down tubes and also two new dummy plugs and your oil rail uh, plugs which I'll go over those in just, uh, just a little bit and there's a quick shot of the difference between the old style and a new style dummy plugs so on these in, uh, oil rails you've got your injector control pressure sensor on the passenger side and these rails are can be used on either side and when this is like if this one's on the passenger side I'll show you what that looks like so here's the rail for the passenger side where or on the driver's side on the passenger side that's where your injector control pressure sensor would go but since this one since it's, the sensor is not needed on the driver's side that's what that other plug from the kit is for and disregard that that's just a dummy plug I was trying I was pressuring up making sure that there was no other leaks mainly on these nipples because these nipples rarely ever go bad the o-rings in these but I just put another dummy plug in there so that I could air them up and, and check them Oh, well, we finally got her back together. Got the battery charger on her. Oh, let's crank it up. Uh -oh. All right, let's crank it up and see what we get. batteries charge up for a little while and we'll try again and here we go with a tip number four That's what we like to hear. Purring all beautiful. So there you have it. The Ford 6.0 diesel no start due to an O-ring. 
one thing that uh, I do want to let you know is once you get all that stuff back together you probably will have to run it for about 15 20 miles or so I guess it works all the air out of the oil system but I've noticed if you don't take it out and run it that it will have a hard start until it does you know get it ran so with that we'll end this one don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and all that other good stuff and we will catch you in the next one